All right, we are back. <laughs> All right, we are back with another episode. So this episode, we're going to be putting car builders down. So if you'd seen our last video, you'll know that this thing is extremely loud. Um, that's how we want it. But to make it a little bit more comfortable for us in the cab, we are going to chuck down car builders. I think we're gonna do stage one. So what we're gonna do is we're going to take out the seats, which is what Ken's doing now. Um, and then we're going to clean it. Yeah, wax and grease remove the floor, um, just to help it stick, I suppose. And yeah, so stage one first, uh, which is the sand deadening itself. And then we've got carpet going on, on that yeah. as well. So once that's all done, the cab will be nice because it's a bit dirty at the moment. But yeah, we'll, um, we'll get stuck into it. I'm gonna show you how um, dirty, how dirty it is, um, and then you can see like before and after. So she's all pretty dirty in here, as you can see. I'm keen to get like clean all this up as well. But yeah, she's pretty dirty in here. Dirty. I'm so keen to clean these things. Pretty dirty on each side. Yeah. So. Works in greasing the, the floor so the stuff will stick better. So this is the car builder's sound deadening. Um, they just come in sheets like, like so. They have a sticky piece on the back side, so which sticks down onto the cab. Um, and yeah, you just sit it on and roll it out. I'll show you. It's pretty easy, but a bit fiddly. And you have all these different edges and stuff, but anyway. Peel the back off. Look at where you're going to start off, which is probably what I should have done. Then you just roll it like that. And yeah, that's the pretty much it. And you just do that the whole way around the, the cab. Yes. So we do also, I can't remember if we said before, we do have. Um, the heat proof going in as well. So this um, is just stage one. Yeah, so stage one's the sound deadening. Stage two is the heat pro heat protection. Yeah. Call cool it that. Cool that. Uh, and then the third is the carpet. Now the carpet we're a little bit nervous for because um, if you I guess work with carpet you'll know it's a bit and obviously it won't look nice but we'll see how we go. have just been like smashing it out but we have done I don't know if you can see we have done quite a lot we are no professionals at this we don't really know what we're doing um, but it seems to be going down all right so you know we've been you know it's like getting into these little grooves that are really hard but we haven't done too bad I don't think Cam's done over there and here this is a bit tedious like so. You can see like we've got little gaps here, but 
We're the ones that have little gaps. We have, what's that stuff called? Um, I don't know, it's just some sort of tape. Maybe. Yeah, because we've got the whole kit, they give you tape, so. Um, like in the, if you want to like. Well, you can never get the joints perfect, so. Yeah, you can never get the joints perfect. So we'll touch it up with the, um, with the tape. But yeah, if you want to do this yourself, everything is included. It comes with everything you need. Bit of a tedious job, but definitely worth it. Leave this one here today because it's late in the afternoon. So we'll come back tomorrow and smash out the rest because we've got to do the back wall. We've got to do the roof. All right, so we've just finished stage one of the sound deadening. So we haven't done too bad of a job, as you can see. We're still, you know. It's not the best job, but. We're pretty it's much. Okay. We are rookies, but we haven't done too bad. Let me see you where your bum is. Same with us. Yeah, we haven't done too bad. Like it looks pretty good. So um, that roughly took us what, maybe a day and a half to do. Yeah. Bit tedious, but consistently working at it. A day yeah. And a half. Um. So now we're moving on to it's called mass. Noise liner. Which is stage two, so yeah. It's like, what would you say? It's like a max noise reducer. It's sort of, I'll show you in a sec. It's just like a, it's like um, foam with like a rubber back on it. Yeah. So you don't actually stick this stuff down because the foam actually goes on top of this stuff and then the rubber's on top. So it just creates another barrier and then you put your carpet or whatever you're doing on top of that. So it doesn't stick down. So that's it. And that's what it looks like. Yeah. So we'll see how we go with that one, eh, hey, Oakley Doakley? What do you reckon? That's what it's looking like at the moment. Um, we're not professionals, far from it. Um, so we've never actually done this before, so we're sort of just winging it. But, yeah. So far, so good. I think obviously once the carpet goes on, it won't look um, like we've butchered it. But what were you saying? Um, there, Someone was saying it went down seven decibels. What were you saying? Yeah, it was the Arvos when they did this and then seven decibels, but no, oh, we'll see what happens. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, I can't wait for this to be done. Yeah, and we don't know. So with this, oh yeah, I should actually show them like, like there's a big difference. Oh, hold on, hold on, let me do that here. Hold on, let me do that again, ready? Oh, show them the door. Oh, you already did the door. Yeah. Yeah, but it's, oh, I wonder if I can tap, I'll tap like. So it's pretty good. This stuff's supposed to be really good, so. We'll see how we go. Start on the next side. Um, we still haven't decided if we're gonna. We probably will, but let's sand it. Yeah. Like it makes sense to, but we like the look of it like, just like that, so. We'll see what happens, but yeah, be good when it's doom. Hey, Kimmy. What's the time? I'm hungry. All right. We have done the, what's it called again? The mass noise line. <laughs> mass noise line. So, oh, my back feels broken. Um, We have finished, well, we still actually have a little bit more to do. We've just cut out like all the um, holes and so we can get the seats back in, um, but we're gonna make a start. You reckon? 
we're going to start on the back wall. We're moving on to the uh, carpet for the back. So it's, again, we got it from the kit from uh, Car Builders. Feels nice. So we're going to do like the whole back wall with it. So. Oakley. So we're going to have to do this one stage at a time, you know? Yeah. And then you spray it. Spray it on. So grab your... Yeah. on the back um, we haven't done too bad of a job I did end up spraying a little bit there so I'll try to get that out and we just got to touch it up get rid of some of that excess paint like well not paint um, glue. glue so uh, that's that so we haven't done too bad for some rookies but um, we're gonna start the carpet now we'll see how we go I'm a little bit nervous for that one but Keep watching and we'll see how we go. Don't follow what we do. We don't really know what we're doing. Just saying. <laughs> Too many joins and then just kind of slip in the front. Alright, I've got sort of the first section done. And I honestly, I was sort of dreading doing this, but it honestly hasn't been too hard. We've just, that's, that's for the air brake, can you say? And then we've just cut the little flap because that looks so ugly. So you just cover it, and then if Cam needs to get to the cow bolts, he can. All right, Cam's at work today, so that has left me in charge of finishing off the inside of the truck. So yesterday I got stuck into doing the carpet, so I have almost finished it. I'm just sort of doing the last little bits and bobs around it and still yet to do that one. I think we're still going to sound and, and put the carpet over it, um, but I'll see what Cam wants to do. But yeah. Um, you know, I was seriously, like seriously dreading doing the carpet because I thought, oh my God, it's going to be so hard. Um, you know, especially with the trucks because they've got lots of like grooves in them and trying to like cut out, like, I don't know if you can see it. That's the like air brake I've had to try cut out. I'm not finished though, so don't look at that. Um, but yeah, trying to like cut all this all the bits out but it honestly wasn't too bad and I've, I've seriously surprised myself um, as to how easy it's sort of gone on so that's been a plus but yeah I better get stuck into it all right so yesterday I got stuck into doing this I haven't quite finished it because I want it to probably look a little bit neater like I still haven't really tried to stick these bits down but yeah Still sort of playing around with it at the moment, but I haven't done too bad of a job. Obviously, once the seats go in, you're probably not really going to see too much anyway. So, as long as like the bits that we that you can see look good. Did want to mention is that I'm finding working with because we've got like the line carpet. I'm actually finding that a lot easier to work with. So. If you're doing a Unimog build or whatever, um, 
yeah, I recommend getting the, the stripes because it just makes it easier, especially when you're trying to get a clean cut, just making, making life a little bit easier. But now I'm just gonna try, I gotta try do this bit, try to get it all up here and then You would have seen in that video that I was like hanging around this area. God, it's warm. <laughs> anyway, so this is what I was trying to work with. I really didn't want to have like that slit in it, but unfortunately I couldn't really avoid it. But I'm just gonna start sticking down this part now, which, see what I mean when I say like the, um, like the stripes, like it just blends so much better. Like I've still got to fix this bit up, but this carpet has to move over a little bit more anyway. So there's that little gap, but yeah, I'll fix that up. But even if you do have like little gaps, you can like sort of wedge other pieces in there, like to neaten it up and you wouldn't even know, but we are complete. I have just finished the carpet in the truck and I'm exhausted. <laughs> um, everything's done. I've just given it a bit of a clean. I've started to put a few things back like that. I've put that back on. I've sort of cleaned the truck up. I went over just with some wax and grease just to get off some of that excess glue that I managed to get in a few spots. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll show you. So it's all done. I did end up, we, I sanded that and then I put some carpet over it. I didn't know, but this is actually a, um, what do you call them? Cigarette tray. So I don't, actually didn't know that was there. Anyway, but yeah, this is it all done. All under there. I did under there. I had to do two sections just in there, but turned out all right, I thought. So that's all that this has to be moved over I haven't moved it over yet but and all underneath there is done as well and I have given these a good old scrub to get out some of the dirt and then we can rivet them on and yeah that's that that's all right I'm going to wrap this video up with showing you guys the finished cab so we have finished it, we've put the seats back in, we've put our black duck seat covers on and we've also put on some groovy um, grab-on handles which match the truck, so they're pretty groovy. So I will take you through and then um, tell you if we think it's worth it or not. inside of the cab pretty much so we've still got the roof lining to do and the doors to do so that's in getting done at the moment which we're super excited for we have chucked on our black duck seat covers um, which we're super super stoked with they sort of finished off the truck so the black duck seat covers we opted for the um, the four elements um, purely just for a little bit more comfort they are still waterproof but yeah I definitely think they look a lot nice in the truck rather than the, I think this chair was brown and this one was green, so it definitely looks a lot nicer. So we're super happy with that. But question we get asked a lot um, on our Instagram is if it's worth putting the car builders down. Now, in our honest opinion is yes it is. It's not the funnest job to do. It definitely took Cam and I a little bit to like 
get in the mood to actually you know buckle down and do it but it has been so worth it um we have been taking the truck for a few drives now so we've been driving into town or whatever and we have noticed a a huge difference in the cab so the trucks itself are very like i don't know if you can hear that but they're quite tinny so having the car builders down has reduced that noise by quite a lot i think so ken's just laughing at me um, but yeah, we definitely would recommend doing it. Like I said, for it's not the finest job, but it's one of those jobs where it's 100% worth it. And if you're like us and you're traveling around full time, it's definitely something we would recommend. We had it in our MPS as well and it worked a treat. So yeah, we're super stoked with how it's turned out. If you enjoyed this video, if you have any questions, let us know. Um... And yeah, we will see you in the next episode, which will be the camper. So our camper is due in two weeks. So two to three weeks. So that's very exciting. We're so pumped for that. So we'll see you then.